Okay, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today's presentation is going to be over different ways that USA Test Prep can help prepare your students for the SAT. At the end of the webinar, you will receive an email that will have a link to the presentation as well as a link to the recorded webinar. So, some of the features I'm going to be showing you today involve our, include our full length creative practice test we have on our website, the composite scores that our site will analyze for your students, the scores by domain, the optional timer that students can set for their test, the teacher resources, and the student resources. So you'll see here that we're logged in as a teacher and teachers have the option to create assignments and whenever you create an assignment if you want to give one of our full length practice tests for the SAT you would type in your assignment name choose test choose the content area so I have SAT mathematics selected and then you're going to choose type full test and whenever you choose the full test there are multiple practice tests that we've created for each content area. So you'll see here that we have four for math and I've selected the first one. Okay, this is, now we're logged in as a student. So I want to show you what the students will see when they go to take this test. So they go to take this test and students have the option to set a timer. Each timer is different for the content. So for math, they're given an, an optional 80 minute time limit. So this is a great test taking strategy for your students that's built into the site. So they can choose to have an 80 minute window to take the test. This is the score that's given after the test has been completed. So this student scored a 350 for a composite score. So we know that there's room to practice a lot for this area. You'll also see that our site provides percentage by domain. And so it gives you, it breaks down the practice test into the different domains for the SAT and gives the students an average for those areas. So this will allow your students to know what their strengths and weaknesses are. So you'll see that to the right of each of these that have a low percentage, we have a pink exclamation point. Your students can click on these, these um, exclamation points and it will tell them that remediation is needed for that domain. It tells them that they scored less than 70% and here are some ways you can work on enhancing your score or improving your score. So from this, they can work on practice questions, they can review vocabulary, or they can watch a video. So these are available resources for the students. On a student's home page, you'll see that we're logged in as a student. The student can select the content area. So they would select the SAT ACT work keys drop down box, and then they can choose their SAT content area they would like to work with. When you select one of these, a screen will load with all of the standards listed. So we can see that we chose SAT mathematics and this is what students see. So you'll see here that all of the standards load and to the right there are dots and these dots are based on accuracy and mastery. A green dot is what we want students to have, yellow means they're on their way and pink needs some work. So your students can always utilize this page to get resources that they may need because whenever you click on any of these standards, this drop down menu will populate. And when this happens, students have access to questions, vocabulary, performance tasks, videos, and puzzles. And as your students work through these four components, this progress bar will fill based on completion and this dot will change color based on mastery. So these are some resources that you can show your students and you can model for them how to get to these resources so that they can be independently practicing based on each student's individual strengths and weaknesses and needs. So for this student, I would say that he would need to work on this pink dot standard before he worked on a green dot standard. And gray just means that he hasn't had any exposure to this standard. 
So now I'm going to show you a demo and just kind of go through all of the things that I went through on the presentation. And this is a reminder that you will be receiving a copy of this recorded webinar as well as um, a link to the presentation. So you'll have both of those resources. So this is my USA Test Prep homepage. So you'll see that I'm here. So the first thing I'm going to show you are the teacher resources and then we'll log in as a student. I can show you from the student page. So to create a practice test, we would go to the assignments tab, click on create new assignment. We're going to choose a single assignment. I'm going to choose my class. And then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to do SAT, let's see here, we're going to do a different one than math. We're going to do SAT reading. And I'm going to choose test. And then for the type, I'm going to choose full. When I do this, you'll see that we have four full length creative practice tests. So I'm going to choose one. I'm going to do my normal assignment settings we always have and I'm going to go ahead and save this assignment. So now when I go to my assignments tab there's my test I created. While we're looking at teacher resources you always have up here at the top the different content areas and you can go in and you can look to see um, which teacher resources are available for you. So for um, you can select any subscription that your school has access to in order to see the teacher resources. So back on the home page, I'm going to log in as a student so that we can um, take a practice test together. So I show this to everyone because not everyone knows that you can do this, but you can click on the gear icon, which is the manage class icon for your classes, and it will load your students for you, and you can log in as any of your students and take a test. So we're going to log in as Johnny Snow and this is going to load a student page so now you can see that I'm logged in as a student and I'm just going to sort by newest. So we're going to take um, a practice test. So we're going to do the reading one. So you'll see that this is the page that will load for a student and here's that optional time limit. So for math it was 80 minutes and so for reading it's 65 minutes. So we're going to load the test with the timer and you'll see here, here's his timer to let him know how much time he has left. Now I'm just going to randomly go through and select answers so please do not judge my score. Um, based on accuracy because I just want to show you guys what a results page looks like. So this is Christmas tree answers in every sense of the expression. And you can see this is a preview of one of the tests we've created so you can see that there's liter literary information, there's nonfiction, graphics, things like that that students will be expected to answer questions about. almost there. I think there's 54 or 56 questions. And our site automatically grades these for you. So we're going to be able to get our scores right away. So we're going to grade the test. And you'll see that my overall composite score was a 220. So not the best. You'll also see that it breaks apart the skill group for me and shows me what my scores are by the skill group and you'll see that I did receive these pink exclamation points letting me know that I need remediation in these areas. So I can then click on any of these and I can work on practice questions, vocab terms, or I can watch a video to help me with um, these skills. I can also view by skill and I can get this broken down even further. So you can show the students that they can not only work on the skill group but the individual skills. Um, so now I'm going to show you while I'm logged in as, as a student where the students can go work independently. So on a student's homepage or we could have went from that page, you just go up to the top, you select the contents, so we're going to select SAT reading and you'll see that here are the skills for me. I see that I have pink dots here, we know that pink 
we click here, gray means there's no data. We have pink is our low mastery and up to green, which is the high mastery. So I can then click on any of these standards and I can start working independently through these four components. And as I complete each component, this progress bar will fill, this dot will change colors to show my updated mastery. Um, right now, this mastery is based on progress report, which is teacher assignments, which you can change it to based on practice mastery to um, see the scores for this area. So I know that that was a lot of information. Please feel free to um, reply to the email I'll be sending you. It'll have all of my contact information in it. You can reply to that email or give me a call if you have any questions. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this shows you some of the ways that you can utilize USA Test Prep to help your students prepare for the SAT. I'm going to be signing off now. Thank you so much for your time.